The member for Thornhill. Speaker, and I have to commend people um, across the room for speaking positively about the budget because it takes a lot of talent to <laughs> to uh, to spin that you're somehow making an investment whenever you spend money. That isn't always the case. Uh, most of us here are homeowners, and we can certainly understand now that we're starting to see, certainly in Vaughan, my city, we're starting to see secondary suites become legalized. And so people are starting to invest in their homes to build these secondary suites, which often are basement apartments, but they could also be an apartment over a garage. That is an investment. Why, Mr. Speaker? Yes, you're spending money in your home, but you're going to get income from it. You're going to rent it out to a family or, or uh, an individual, and then that will provide you with income. So in terms of investing in our province, investment means there is going to be some kind of income. We, we do not believe that by maintaining our highways, that that is going to somehow bring income to our province and prosperity. Yes, we have to maintain our roads, and yes, we have to invest in um, developing better transit and infrastructure and, and, and building more bridges, but we also have to focus on the fact that we have to work within our budget, and that's what we're here to talk about. We're here to prioritize our spending to focus on the things that will bring investment into the province. And I think that we have to speak to those future investors and we have to ask them what will help you to invest in our province. We just heard um, last week, a few days ago, that GM is not investing in Oshawa. It's very simple. Let's talk to GM. They're going to say the high hydro costs that this government um, you know, is wearing is the cause of them moving out of the province. The future of a pension plan, these are all things that are costing us revenue. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Question.